Google Chrome will soon be released with Gemini Nano that will be available on device, on the Chrome browser directly. And you can test it out today with the Canary version, which is quite awesome. Of course, the model is not as powerful as uh, Gemini Flash or Gemini uh, Pro. It will fail with more complex logic, but it's very good for simple tasks like text summarization, explanation, or even some translation tasks. And in this video, I can I will show you how to activate that, how to use it, and I also prepared an example a code repository where you will find example template for Chrome extension extension if you want to play with that. So uh, sit tight and watch the video. Since Gemini Nano is not yet available in official uh, Google Chrome, uh, we can go for the Canary um, release and you can download that on top of your existing Google Chrome. Uh, you can find the link in the description. So once the Google uh, Chrome Canary edition is opened, uh, let's verify the version under help and about Google Chrome. And you should see version newer than 127. In my case, I've got version 128, which is good enough. And now we can navigate to Chrome flags and we will have to turn on two flags. And the details for that you can find in the description of this video as well. The first one is prompt API for Gemini Nano. Let's switch that to enable. And the second one is optimization guide on device model. And in this case, we will choose it to enable with the bypass option. Now we are good to relaunch the browser. And once the browser is really launched, you can check if uh, everything is working fine in the console uh, environment with uh, AI that can create text session command. And if you see readily, everything is fine. However, if you do it for the first time, probably the model is not yet downloaded. So we can navigate to Chrome components, search for optimization guide on device model, click check on for updates and make sure you see the version. For the first time, I left the browser for around an hour to do its thing. All right, so once your model is ready, what else you can do? You can, for example, start a session with, um, since every command in this case must be uh, asynchronous, that's why we use await, so AI create text session. And once we've got session, we can we can use a mod method session prompt with the question, in this case, who are you? And read the answer from the console log. And we've got a nice answer. I'm a large language model trained by Google. That's very nice, but a little bit, <laughs> the user interface is a little bit tricky, right? And for that, I created a separate um, repository on GitHub. And of course, uh, the link to that repository you can find in the description. It has a nice readme file explaining how to enable the model and how to use the repository. And there are two files nanohtml and nanostream.html. Both of them can be used offline when you download them. It's a pretty straightforward form. Uh, you put um, query, send, uh, send it to the model and get the response on the screen. The only difference between, the, between those two files is the way of presenting the response. With the stream, we take advantage of the prompt streaming to show on the screen each token as it being generated. So I already have a file downloaded on my laptop and I can ask a question, for example, for example, tell me something interesting about UK and you've got some answer. Now, let me show you that my internet is that I just killed that to prove it to you that this model works fully locally only on my station. So as you see from the ping perspective, my, my internet is that. So let's ask another query. In this case, tell me something interesting about Poland and we can see the uh, response on the screen, which is pretty impressive, isn't it? So let me copy the response since those are a couple of sentences. And by the way, I will change the file from nano HTML to nano stream. So the other way to get the answer with a streaming option. And I will ask to translate uh, the previous response to Polish, just to show you what the model capable of. And now we see the streaming option. So each uh, token is present on the screen as it's ready. And we've got a nice translation and it's quite good translation. Uh, the other option we can use, for example, is summarize it to, let's say one sentence and let's use the same output. And let's check uh, the results. 
nice we've got a nice summarization uh, of our original statement as well which is pretty awesome some of the potential use case of that model uh, let me go back to my repository and i have to enable internet again uh, all right let me refresh uh, i created kind of the proof of concept or the draft version of uh, chrome extension it got it got files background.js when i'm stating pretty much explain this to me like i'm five based on the selected text and printed on the screen and also on the alert box and manifest.json, which is necessary for the Chrome extension. With just those two files, we can uh, enable the extension once this is downloaded to your um, hardware uh, with load unpacked version <coughs> or load unpacked uh, option, sorry. And uh, since I've got that already enabled, I can select, for example, dried fruit, right click, ask for nano to explain that to me and i should see the explanation uh, of selected text in a few seconds and that's pretty cool when you think about it because this information was never sent to any external model it's on device on you know chrome browser model so it never left my laptop it's great for the data privacy now of course this extension is just a draft but i hope it can be used by you as a template to try to implement your own idea of how to utilize uh, gemini nano in chrome browser and let me know in the comment section what are your ideas be sure to check out the description for all the details with the comments that i executed during that video uh, check out my repository there is a readme file with detailed instructions of how to install the model and test it yourself and let me know in the comment section what do you think about it what use cases do you see possible in the future and let's see when this functionality will be officially released in the official chrome uh, browser all right thank you for watching and have a great day